and welcome to Cooking for Dogs. Are you interested in doing some grooming at home? Come and I'll show you some basic grooming techniques to make your furry friend look his very best. Let's take a look at the tools we'll be using today. We have a dog brush, we have a comb, we have our puppy shampoo, our conditioner, we have some tea tree oil, some cotton wool balls and a small face sponge. Our water container, a towel on a non-slip surface and our hairdryer. Remove puppy's collar. Roland has a curly or wavy coat so he needs to be brushed through thoroughly before we wash him. We're going to remove all knots from his coat both before the bath and again after drying to prevent matting. It's a very good idea to check your pup during this time for any ticks or parasites inside the ears and also check inside your dog's mouth. Feel along his gum line. This is very important as ticks can attach themselves to the gum. Also check under the tail as this is another favourite place for a tick to attach itself. In a small sized tub for a small sized dog, run lukewarm water and immerse your dog in the water. Wet the dog's coat thoroughly in preparation for shampooing. Insert a cotton wool ball into each of the ear canals. You can cover the dog's eyes with your hand as Roland hates getting water in his eyes and this makes him feel more comfortable. Once your pup's coat is thoroughly wet, it's time to apply the shampoo. Make sure that you're washing right down to the skin. I've added a few drops of tea tree oil to the shampoo for flea control. Lather up the shampoo on the dog's coat, making sure that you've got all his skin covered. Just work it through with your fingertips. Use extra water as needed. Make sure you shampoo your pup's coat twice. Use lukewarm fresh water to rinse the coat thoroughly. There should be no shampoo residue or colour in the water. Using a soft cloth, make sure there is no shampoo around your dog's eye area. Once the water is clear and he's rinsed, dry him off with an absorbent towel. Roland does not like getting wet, so this is the best part of his bath. Be sure to remove the cotton wool balls from the ears. I spray Roland's coat with a detangler or my favourite leave-in conditioner because he has a long curly coat. Check that you have the right shampoo and conditioning product for your breed as they all have different requirements. Dry your puppy off by using your hair dryer on a cool to warm setting. And provided it's always in motion, maybe at least about 25 centimeters away from his skin, it does a wonderful job of drying off puppy's coat. We're going to finish by giving him another brush through and checking for any tangles or knots. We hope you've enjoyed today's tutorial. If you did, please do like us on Facebook, subscribe to our channel, but above all, have a fantastic week. Thanks for watching.